everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got a pretty special video for you guys today. Uh, today we are doing a haul video of all the stuff that I bought when we were in Japan. Yeah! So some of you guys might know I went to Japan in early August uh, with my brother and I bought a whole load of stuff. Some lifestyle things, some Disney things, a lot of Alice stuff to go in the Alice room in my house, which is where we are right now. And, um, and yeah, we're going to go through them. So I don't have a lot of time today, so we'll get going. We'll see how much we get through. This may turn into two videos. I guess we'll see how we go. So anyway, let's begin. So of course I went to Disney when we were in Tokyo. We went to Tokyo Disneyland for two days and Tokyo Disney Sea just for the one. So I picked up some new mini ears there and they are these ones. Sorry, I'm sitting a bit high for them. There you go. Uh, so these mini ears are, I bought because they have a brand or a couple of brand new floats for the electric light parade, which is in Tokyo Disneyland. I thought it kind of went with the whole electric light parade thing. They don't light up, they're just nice and sparkly. And I kind of like how they're quite angular. So I think these might be my favorite ears that I own now. Uh, I think you can buy them in other parks, but yeah, they're pretty cool. One of my favorite things to buy in Japan is actually flannels. Um, uh, lots of Japanese women uh, take around flannels with them because in some of the public restrooms, there are not hand dryers. So they use the flannels to dry their hands. And then often when it's sweaty in the summer, when you get sweaty in the hot summer weather, you can sort of use them to dab off as well. Uh, so I've gotten into the habit of collecting a lot of flannels when I'm in Japan. Now, I'm sorry, because this one's a little bit dirty. I haven't washed it yet. Uh, but this is my Snoopy flannel. So you can see it's a little bit a bit dirty, but it's it's in the shape of Snoopy's head hugging a heart Which is really cute and now I'm gonna put it over here because that's got to go into the wash uh, You can get um, a lot of character themed flannels and so I usually buy Snoopy ones Disney ones and ones from Ghibli So Ghibli movies if anybody's seen Spirited Away and those types of things I get a lot of flannels from those movies. This one is uh, one of the ones from Princess Mononoke Which I thought was just beautiful. Oh, sorry. This is a little dirty as well and I need to wash this because it's got red lipstick on it but this one is uh, an Alice in Wonderland one I picked up I from Kitty Land, I think uh, which is cute it's got Alice's outfit on it so this is another flannel uh, with Gigi from Kiki's delivery service on it and this one actually came from a special Ghibli store uh, which has a few other brands in it as well but mostly Ghibli which is in Ikebukuro uh, and this one is a special flannel that I got from uh, Tokyo Disneyland so it has the princess Ariel on it if I hold it really close you can see the kind of effect that they've tried to go for this actually isn't a flannel it's kind of more of a light cloth but I absolutely adore it this is from Spirited Away this is probably the most famous Ghibli movie and of course there's the no name in the middle which I think is a pretty cool character very very interesting this is one last flannel it's another princess mononoke one i think i'm gonna give this one to my boyfriend though because he loves princess mononoke and this would be more his style not too sure if i said that the last flannel was the last flannel but it wasn't if i did say that this one is the last flannel i think I'm pretty sure. Um, this one has Calcifer on it from House Moving Castle, which is pretty cute. So Japan is really, really fantastic for figures. And so whilst I was there, they had a line of Alice in Wonderland figures by a company called Tomi, not Tomi. I can't remember. I'll put the name of it down below here. But they had a line of, of quite like reasonably, reasonably priced uh, Alice in Wonderland figures and a whole set. So I bought them for the Alice room. This is the Queen of Hearts. Sorry. So yeah, there you go. So there's Queenie. We have the Mad Hatter. There's actually two Alice's, but this is the one I bought. A card. <laughs> this is the Cheshire Cat. The White Rabbit. Running away. Quality of these figures is amazing. I'm so happy with them. Um, D Disney often doesn't do quite good quality figures. I have some other Alice in Wonderland ones which I picked up from... Uh, from Walt Disney World, which are like these, which are okay. Um, but those ones are really, really great. I also picked up this... Uh, this rather awesome Cheshire Cat figure. Uh, so if any of you have been to Japan and you've seen the UFO machines, uh, you can you can sort of go to these UFO machines and put in like a hundred or two hundred yen, and then it's like a it's like a, like the claw thing that picks up the aliens in Toy Story. And he was a prize in, in one of those machines. I find those machines impossible to play, so I actually bought him in a store which gets a whole load of those UFO machines figures and just sells them on. So I bought him him just direct. I didn't play the game. Alice stuff is everywhere in Tokyo, and if you're interested in knowing a few good stores to go to to find some quite high quality Alice in Wonderland stuff or other Disney stuff. 
stuff, let me know. I'll do a, a like a video about a few amazing places. This is actually a placemat, so it's something that you eat your dinner on. Uh, but I had to own it because it's perfect to lay down on this table and to put some tea, uh, some teacups on. That was really cute. Another thing I got was a. Um, I think this is a scarf. I'm not a hundred percent. The weird thing is I quite like getting fabrics because I can then do stuff with the fabrics. So when I find interesting fabrics with Alice on, I tend to buy them. But it looks like, oh, I'll get my head out of the way, look. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, it's quite unique colors, like a flipped palette. Um, but this is really cute and I hope to do something like it, put it on a cushion, hang it up, something like that. When we visited Ikebukuro, Stephen heard of a store inside the Parco Men's Department or the Parco Men's Store, uh, which had loads of Disney stuff. So we visited that and, oh, actually, was it in Ikebukuro or was it in Shibuya? It was definitely in a Parco and I can't, oh no, maybe it was in, anyway. <laughs> Stephen found a store for us to go to which had loads of Disney stuff. And in that store, I bought these, a Shere Khan and a car, um, a patch to put onto clothes. Uh, Liam and I are off to Walt Disney World next year. It's a while to go yet, but I thought we could use use these for some sort of cool uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween outfit. I'm going to be Car, of course. I think he'll be Shekhan. Whilst I was in Japan, I loved using this purse. I picked it up in Kiddyland in Himeji, actually, but um, but you can buy it in Kiddyland in, in Tokyo as well. This has Merlin on one side and Archimedes on the other, but this actually comes from a piece of fabric which was um, paint the num no, connect the numbers, connect the dots. Either that or they got it from a magazine and they printed it on the fabric. I loved it because I could put notes and coins in here, and actually there's a bit of a hidden gem in here. It has a, a couple of Disneyland tickets from one of the days that we went to Disneyland. Um, so that was actually really useful. It's a little bit pricey. I think it's a thousand or two thousand yen, but it's so rare to find stuff with uh, Merlin Archimedes. I had to get it. Kitty Land had a number of really cool products, and this was another one that I picked up. This is the doorknob from Alice in Wonderland. You can see, recognize him. Uh, and this is actually pretty amazing. He is metallic, so you can see sort of the key that comes with him, it sticks to him. So you can stick him on something metal, and then he will hold um, this key, which acts as a key ring. So you can hold all the rest of your keys on, it, on this, and it, he will act as a sort of like safe place to put your keys. That was pretty cool, I had to buy this. In Tokyo Disneyland and in Shanghai too, they're really big at having these things which hang off your bag. Um, I don't usually buy Ariel things, although I love Ariel, which is like, I love Alice more, so I buy more Alice stuff than Ariel. But because I was going with my brother to Disneyland, we thought it'd be really cute to buy these, so I put the Princess Ariel one on the back of my bag, and Stephen had the flounder one on the back of his, and so we kept them afterwards. They have um, little badge things on the back, and they also have these loop things, so you can loop them onto keychains. I probably won't use them because I just get them really dirty, so I'll probably save them for when we go to Disney next. The, this Jigglypuff is, comes from a brand called Mochi Mochi, and they are, like, I love Mochi Mochi stuff. Um, I, I only came into contact with it this time when we were here, but it's very, very squishy. She's almost like a stress ball, and very, very soft. Um, I almost built a massive Winnie the Pooh in the Mochi Mochi because it was just, it felt so good to hug, um, but I ran out of cash. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this Jiggly is Mochi Mochi, and she's super, super soft, so she's gonna live with the other Jigglypuffs in my room. I didn't want to go too crazy with mugs on this trip, but I did pick up two. Uh, first one I I got from the Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall. If you saw the Disney vlog, you may have seen this already. This is what one of the desserts comes uh, comes in, in the Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall. Really cute, isn't it? Completely exclusive to Tokyo Disneyland and comes free with the dessert. And the other one I loved was this. And the reason why I loved it so much is it's perfect for cereal or granola. I don't like to put cereal or granola into too big a bowls because then I eat too much. Um, but this one is perfect for that. And at the bottom it says, my goodness, see. I bought a bunch of pins and keychains whilst I was in uh, Japan, because Japan does some great pins and keychains. I'm gonna show you all of them now because there's loads, let's go. So I got one of my favorite monkey, Abu, an Alice in Wonderland one, which I think I got in the Disney store. I got the Merry Merry on Birthday pin from Disneyland. This is a Queen of Hearts keychain that I got from the Disney store in Shibuya. This is a Cheshire Cat keychain I got from Kiddyland. I love how Japan has loads of stuff about the oysters. This is an oyster keychain that I also picked up from Kiddyland. These two are actually super cute phone charms. I think I picked them up in Disneyland, Alice and the Cheshire Cat. A very unique oysters one that not many people will get unless you're really into Alice. 
This is a special artist rendition of Alice, which I picked up from uh, Tokyo Hands in Kyoto. They had a special exhibit of local artist work or Japanese artist work. And this is a special Alice from that collection. I didn't go pin crazy at Disney this time, but I did get a few special ones to me. This is uh, the Grand Circuit Raceway pin and one for Pooh's Honey Hunt. I had to get the Grand Circuit Raceway pin because it's closing at the moment uh, to get ready for Tokyo Disneyland's expansion. And Pooh's Honey Hunt is my favorite ride. Uh, it, it definitely within Disneyland, probably my third favorite ride in the world. I seem to have a bit of an obsession for keys. I got a few when I was there, key ring keys. Um, this one is lovely. I really can't remember where I picked this one up, but this is Alice. It's got the Cheshire Cat on it, a little clock. I think they're beautiful to display in the Alice room. So I'll find a, another space for it because I've got a few keys around and I think I've got another one to show you in a sec. Whilst waiting for one of the shows to start in Disney, we picked up a box of chocolates and this is the tin that came from it. Uh, I love picking up boxes of chocolates from Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea because they usually come in these nice tins and then you can use them to protect some of the smaller things that you got to bring home. So I put a lot of my badges and keychains in here and then you can use it to display it around your house when you get home. So I'm gonna, of course, display it in the Alice room. They have so much merch in Tokyo Disneyland for Winnie the Pooh. I don't usually buy a lot of it because it's kind of stationary and home and such but this is one of the things I had to pick up this is a set of measuring spoons themed for Winnie the Pooh they are super cute and they're gonna be super useful in our new kitchen when we move soon I promised you another keychain and this is it this is the Queen of Hearts version of the Alice keychain which I already own I think it's up on the door but I can't see it uh, these actually keep these keychains what you actually do is you buy them and you fill in some little beads which go there the beads usually have um, have words on them so you can make a little message on there. I, I left mine blank, I just liked it as it was, but I might get my own beads to attach to it, some sort of other ones that look a little bit like this. This is the plate that I got in the Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall in Disneyland, in Tokyo Disneyland. Uh, you can ask for this, it's a special plate that they sell there, you can ask for it at the cash register, just, just hit myself in the face with it. Um, it's a thousand yen, so it's not too bad for the price of a plate. It is plastic though, but that's great because it makes it much, much easier to get home. I'm so happy I got this. This is really cute. And it goes uh, with the cup I got at the same place. I didn't seem to buy that much Final Fantasy stuff this time, which is odd for me because I absolutely love Final Fantasy, but I often find the stuff that Square Enix, the people who make Final Fantasy sell themselves, is a little bit overpriced. But my boyfriend absolutely loves Vivi, so I picked him up this very small Vivi, uh, Vivi keychain, just super cute. Uh, they were actually selling a Vivi plushie as well, um, which is about this big. He's beautiful. If I find a picture, I'll put him here for you. But he's really expensive. The cheapest price I saw him for was 4,500 yen, uh, which for a plushie of that size is a bit overpriced. Now, lots of people will know that Japan is really big for plastic wallets. Uh, I always buy, buy loads of plastic wallets when I go to Japan because I use them for documents. I also use them in my Japanese class as well. And they're also very, very cheap gifts. If you go to Japan on a budget, but you want to bring gifts for people home. Plastic wallets are a really nice thing to bring. So some of, the, some of them I'm going to have to show you close up because their patterns are, are small. Um, but I got this in a store called Sakaido. Um, so I'll hold it up for you. There you go. You can see it's all the old posters from some of the famous Disney works. So it's just it's just the plastic wallet, that's it. Like, that's it, just, you know, you can put documents on it. Um, but they're very, very cheap and really great gifts. Uh, so I also got this one from the same store. This is an Alice in Wonderland one, naturally. Wonderland girl, slightly confused. Sounds a bit like my life. <laughs> Oh, it's got oysters on the back. <laughs> you know, I said to you guys earlier that oysters are so, the oysters from Alice in Wonderland are so famous in Japan. And yeah, this is another shot of them here. So weird, you don't see them anywhere else. I got one with loads of Alice in Wonderland. I'll hold this one close again so you can see it. Loads of Alice's, Mad Hatter's, Queen of Hearts. It's kind of that same sort of um, colouring as we saw in that piece of fabric earlier. Don't see a lot of merch for Aladdin. So I got a cool Aladdin one. Genie's looking kind of awesome. It's a bit of a silhouetted genie there. I also got this cute 101 Dalmatians one as well. You don't see a lot of 101 Dalmatians merch too, so I was pretty happy to find this. I think I might have mentioned to you guys earlier, but Tokyo Hands in uh, the branch in Kyoto when we were there had a special gallery on for sort of local or Japanese artist works. And this is the final um, plastic wallet I got from there. I get my face out of the way for you. There you go. 
This is actually upside down, it's this way. You can see the girl's sort of feet dancing around there and that's her reflection in the swimming pool. That's awesome. I had to get that, it looked great. I also got um, a phone case by the same artist. Look, that's really cute. Uh, the Japanese girl playing with water in the umbrella. And I think the artist is Femi. So this is quite a cute case. Uh, just inside it's got a little bit for, um, for a few cards and they call it a pop cover and it pops shut. So that's, that's really awesome. In that same collection, I found an artist that had loads of Alice in Wonderland stuff. I think I showed you a keychain earlier from that. Um, but I got more of that, that those artists, that, that artist's postcards, <laughs> yeah, that artist's postcards, or that artist's art on postcards. So I'll take the, the plastic wallet so you guys can see. There you go, so there's loads of Alice in Wonderland. Tea party, painting the roses red maybe? I'm not sure, just general characters. This one is, what is this one? It's like a house made of, maybe this is the queen? Alice at the top there. Alice with scissors, stamps and a mushroom. And Alice being a queen, I guess, is she being a queen? Oh, but there's the mirror with Diana at the top. Another one of the artists uh, did some Alice work as well, and I found this beautiful postcard. There you go. I actually got two of them. Because I thought I could do something like a playing card with them. Not really too sure yet, but I, I got two, just so I can play around. I also actually got the big version of it too. Um, is this the same one? Yeah, it is the same one. Because I just love the art. I thought the art was beautiful. And she, uh, she looks a little bit dazed and confused, a little bit wistful. Uh, I thought it was really cute. So from the Disney store, I actually got this pass holder. It has cute Alice uh, artwork on one side, and if you turn it around, it looks like the back of a playing card. You actually slide a, um, a commuter card, like an oyster card or um, an octopus card, in here, and then you use it as your pass holder. It hangs off of your bag. I thought that was super, super cute. Whilst we were in Japan, it was actually the 25th uh, anniversary of the Disney store. So it was Disney store's 25th anniversary, which is pretty cool. And uh, they actually had these amazing postcards of art um, just scattered around some of the Disney stores that we went to and so we picked up a bunch of them. This is Winnie the Pooh with Heffalumps and Woozles. Oh, 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 oh. A old Mickey Mouse drawing. I can't remember the name of this cartoon but I'll stick it below. It's one of my favourite Mickey cartoons. Uh, the Be Our Guest scene from Beauty and the Beast. Pocahontas, which is one of my favourite movies for cinematography. I think it's beautiful. She's beautiful throughout the whole thing. It's unbelievable. And a lovely shot of the Beast and Belle in Beast Castle. I think that's it. Oh, no. Bonus. <laughs> uh, the kiss the girl scene from The Little Mermaid. And that's it. So I've got to find a special place for these. Actually, continuing on the, um, on the postcard theme, I got another set of postcards which came in sort of a gift set in, uh, in Disneyland, in Tokyo Disneyland. These are kind of interesting. They actually have a, like a, the sort of a, Japanese papery feel to it. I don't know if you can see it, if I hold it really, really close, you might be able to see the sort of texture to the paper. It's pretty interesting. Uh, if you buy the set, um, they, they come six all together, or you can buy, oh, sorry, there you go, or you can buy all these same images as individual plastic wallets, I think, as well. But anyway, I'll show you these as the postcards. So we've got Toy Story, this cute Pinocchio one with the blue fairy. <laughs> the genie has the moon, which is pretty cool. Oh, Rapunzel and Flynn. I must admit this was the one that made me buy them. Are these the dwarves? Can't see for things. Yeah, sorry, looking in the screen backwards. <laughs> the dwarves. And a cute Winnie the Pooh one as well. Now my brother and I both learn Japanese and I, I'm not gonna lie, it's a very, very difficult language to learn. We're kind of at the advanced stage of learning Japanese where only really practice is gonna make us any better and that's kind of what we fail at doing. Uh, one of the things I, we found has helped recently is reading. And uh, so we picked up these two books in Japan. These are light novels. Um, this is obviously The Nightmare Before Christmas and this is The Little Mermaid. These are completely written books. So they're all written um, inside, uh, but they do have furigana. Furigana is where you have a kanji character, but you have the phonetic alphabet above it. Let me see if I can find you a good example. 
this one's a good example, excuse my disgusting nails, but there's kanji there and there's a bit of the phonetic language right next to it. So if you can read the phonetic language, you'll be able to read these quite nicely. Now the reason why, why we got stories that we already know is because then it'll make it easier for us to read the books. Um, so we got these two because we know the, st the stories of these both very, very well, but it'll make our Japanese classes very interesting uh, because we love reading Disney stuff and hopefully our Japanese will start to improve. Easily my favourite merchandise item from Tokyo Disneyland is these little light up things that they do. Um, let me show you this one as an example. Can you see it? I'm going to get out of the way. Sorry, it's very, very light in here, so you might not be able to see it. But this is a little light up Rapunzel. So she's actually clear. It's like clear acrylic. Um, but there's actually a couple of layers of acrylic there and the light shines through them, which gives this sort of weird... Um, flip effect. I absolutely adore these. I used to decorate my bed in Japan with loads of them. I have a few others around too. If you want to see all of my collection, let me know. I'll go hunt them down. I usually limit myself to one per trip um, because you could just go nuts and buy all of them. Uh, on the other, uh, we went three days and I only bought two, so I did all right this time. <laughs> I feel a little bit guilty for getting two though. This this time I also got this one as well. It makes an odd noise. So I'm gonna actually gonna switch it off. And I'm not too sure you can see it in this light. I love this one. It's going to go perfectly in the Alice room. Look at him go. <laughs> and his smile lights up, which is awesome. It's odd that it makes a weird sound, though. This is pretty cool. So this is actually quite a unique one. Most of the normal sort of plastic light-up things look like this one. But these are really cool, and I've only seen them in large quantities in Tokyo Disneyland. I've seen some of them elsewhere. I actually got a BB-8 one um, when we were in Walt Disney World, but I haven't seen as many as the large collections that they have in Tokyo Disneyland. So if you visit Tokyo Disneyland, check them out, because they tend to change every season. Um, so you can pretty pick up some pretty unique ones. We're on to our penultimate Alice thing, guys. <laughs> you may be glad to know. Uh, this thing is actually a prize, not a prize figure, but it's, it's, it's a figure from a random box. So some of you guys may have seen these before, but uh, in Japan they have loads of random box figures. So you buy a random, uh, you buy a box, inside of it could be one of six random figures, and they actually had an Alice set on at the time. Um, I picked a box and thought, well, like, all, I love all of the Alice Wonderland characters, whoever I get would be great, and I actually managed to get Alice. These ones are quite cute because they actually sit on the side of glasses. You might be able to see her just sat there. Uh, I think it actually has to be a straight rim, rim glass for it to work because it wasn't working on this um, incredibly dusty cup. Um, but yeah, that's that's how she sits on the glasses and there's a whole load of other characters in that set which you can get to do that as well. If you want tips on how to find all of them without having to pay for the whole box of, or like loads and loads of boxes when you're in Japan, let me know. Uh, there's a few places that you can go which will sell them in clear bags so you can just buy them. But sometimes the prices get high, but sometimes you might be lucky. Final Alice in Wonderland I th thing, I think, unless we've got any surprises. Uh, some of you guys will know that somewhere in this room, I can't remember where it's gone, I actually have a sun slash rain umbrella, which is styled as Alice in Wonderland. I love it so much though, I never take it to Disney because it's a long umbrella and I don't want it to get damaged and I don't want to carry it around and lose it. So, I bought the same umbrella in a collapsible format. <laughs> So, um, take a look at this. This is, uh, you can see Alice here, with the flowers in the golden afternoon. Yeah. She appears a couple of times and there's the rose. There's other, oh yeah, and here's, this is where the Cheshire Cat is. Do other characters I want to point out to you? Oh, White Rabbit. Alice sat down. Uh, it is a sun umbrella. Oh, I just knocked down the Alice. It's a sun umbrella and a rain umbrella. So underneath it has a silver material, which makes it very nice and reflective for the sun, um, but it's also good enough to withstand the rain. And because I already have a long version of it, I'm not too worried about getting this one a little bit more dirty or wet as I have been on with others. I, I actually bought two bags uh, from a brand which is actually American, but I love it. And I always buy them in Japan because they have a big store in Harajuku. And that is Chums. Um, so I'll show you this up close. It needs a bit of a wash, sadly. Yeah, I think I used it a little bit too much. Um, but this is a basic purse bag with, um, uh, you know, with a with a strap going around it so that you can get it around your head. Um, but there's nothing much to it apart from it's got a couple of pockets in there. I actually found this so so useful when we were um, going to Disneyland because I would hang this round and then hang the bag that, or I would I would wear a backpack, but I'd sort of hang this round my neck and have in here uh, my phone so I could easily take Instagram pictures or pictures for Instagram, um, my tickets, and it would also contain all the fast passes. Then I bought this loveliness 
<laughs> it's not looking so lovely now <laughs> with everything open. This is a chum's backpack. Let me let me make it respectable. I absolutely love this backpack. So first of all, um, it's it's really quite cool. This fabric. It, it's not very waterproof, right? Like this fabric is not waterproof at all. This is kind of like a jersey style fabric, but I find it so comfy because it's like that nice fabric feel. Sometimes I find if you wear like a little dress and you put sort of a normal backpack fabric on your on your skin, it really rubs. If you see some of my pictures from a Walt Disney World trip last year, you'll see my shoulders rubbed raw from some of the bags I was using at that time. But this one's really cute. Also, I can stick badges all over it. So all those Disney badges I got. I showed you guys earlier I can put them all along this from when we go to Disney it's got pockets on either side for drink bottle and for um, and for an umbrella and it's got loads of space inside and it's got a sort of hidden not really hidden way to get into the bag here these are amazing so good because when you have your bag on your back like this rather than having to take the whole thing off to get into it what you do is you take it off you take it off this shoulder and you swing it around here and you open the bag up in front of you here so you never have to take it off the shoulder ever you always leave it on that shoulder oh, it's, it's so good i love it so much they do them a whole load of uh, load of colors i bought the lighter gray because i thought it would go with more clothes i could put buttons on it and lighter colors are better for the summer months I've had a check around the rest of the room and I think I'm actually done guys. I think I've shown you everything that I've got. If you made it all the way to the end, uh, great job. Uh, there was a lot of stuff to get through. Um, so thank you so much for sticking through it. Uh, if you requested this vlog, uh, please let me know what you thought about it. Anyway, I'm gonna go for now. Thanks so much for watching. Come back to the channel uh, for more videos of our trips around Japan. I'm also weekly vlogging at the moment. So come back to the channel for those weekly vlogs. I should be doing that all the way up to Christmas and depending on how they go um, maybe into the new year thank you so much for watching this video uh, like this video if you liked it and subscribe to see some of the stuff which is coming up soon i will see you all back on the channel another time thanks again guys bye, bye.